EA Sports hasn't released a college football game since NCAA Football 14. A new game was set to release in 2023. However, one month ago, it got pushed back a whole nother year, which is super unfortunate. However, I'm a professional software engineer, so I could just make the game myself, right? Well, not exactly, but I could try to make my favorite part of NCAA 14, which was recruiting, and that's exactly what I did. In 13 days, I created a recruiting simulator that features AI-generated players, recruiting and commitment, and n number of other schools that you have to recruit against. The obvious first step was to randomly create players so that you could recruit them. So I created a new Unity project. Turns out, I was pretty rusty. I had to Google how to print to the console. But I did make progress pretty quickly. In all actuality, on the first day, I downloaded a data set of first names, last names, and cities located in the United States. With these data sets, I generated 500 randomly named and located players and printed them to the console. The players' positions were generated according to the distribution of their frequency on the field. Basically, this means I had a big ass if statement where defensive ends had double the chance of being spawned compared to a quarterback because at any given time, there's two defensive ends on the field and only one quarterback. Following that similar train of thought, I generated the player stats according to two things, the player position and the player star rating. A player position determines which two stats are going to be higher because a quarterback wouldn't have a high defensive rating, even though theoretically, they could. The star rating determines how high a player's stats will go. For instance, a five-star player will have a much higher rating than a one-star player. To spice things up, I added player traits slash characteristics. During player creation, a player had a random chance of being assigned a gem or a bust trait. These traits impact the actual stats of the player, not the projected ones that the player only initially sees. Player traits is a really cool mechanic that could potentially introduce hometown heroes, players who only want to play to win, or maybe even astrological sign. I can see it now, a YouTube video called College Football Game, Only Recruit Leo's Challenge, Impossible. A couple weeks ago, I saw Jonas Tyroller use AI to generate art for a prototype he was developing. This was a genius idea that I could use for player profile pictures, and way better than any idea I had. So I hopped on artreader.com and started generating player faces. A lot of the faces look very similar structurally, and ideally there'd be more variation, but this is way better than any alternative I have. At this point, players were basically completely randomly generated. However, you could only see them through the console. And frankly, nobody cares about the console, so I started working on the UI. The player view gives you a detailed view of the player where you can see a player's name, where they're from, their height, their position, their star rating, their actual stats after you've scouted them, and their projected stats. The UI really brought the players to life. One might even think they're real people. As cool as randomly generated players are, the main feature of this game is recruiting. In this prototype I developed, recruiting consists of scouting, sending letters, and offering visits. When scouting a player, you spend 25 points one time a week to randomly unlock one of the three player attributes. During the scouting process, the player gains a little bit of interest toward your school. Simultaneously, you can send letters to players. However, this seems a little outdated. I probably should have made a send DM button. It'd be really cool to have letters do more than just increase interest in your school. For instance, they could reveal player traits like gem or bust, or maybe hometown hero. Once a player has enough interest in your school, you can offer a visit. And by offer, I mean force them to come to your school. This is a one-time action that provides a major boost in interest. Once a player reaches 65 interests, there's a chance that each week that player could commit to that school. That's right, players will commit to schools without scholarships. NFL or bust, baby. At this point, players were being generated and you could recruit these players, but something was missing. Oh right, there are no other schools, so you could recruit any player with no competition. So I created artificial intelligence schools to compete against. Basically, the AI schools will go down the list of players most interested in them and spend their points recruiting them until they run out of points for that week. So yes, this AI is not artificial, it's all natural. It's all natural. It's all natural. Nor intelligent. You can tell that a player is committed to another school because the name of that player turns red. And that's a feature. And that's the gameplay cycle. So after 13 days of, you know, one to three hours of work per day, I was pretty happy with the progress that I made. Obviously, there's so much more you could do. For instance, adding better AI recruiting strategies, offering scholarships, and adding more player traits. I've uploaded the spaghetti code to GitHub 
and I uploaded the game to itch.io so you can try that for yourself. The links are in the description. I definitely felt a little bit of nostalgia playing this game. However, you can tell something's missing. You know, there's that subconscious understanding when you're playing NCAA 14 that the players you're recruiting, you're gonna be able to use them next season to hopefully win a championship. But with this recruiting simulator, you know, that core gameplay feature obviously isn't there. Moral of the story, EA needs to get the gameplay right so that recruiting has that impactful feeling that it did in NCAA football 14.